When the early Spanish explorers came to America, they found people already living here. Where did they come from? The people they found believed in a great white God, and they knew of the biblical account of the creation of the world. They practiced a form of the sacrament of the Lord's Supper. Where did these ancient people learn Christian principles? The Book of Mormon contains the answer. It tells that Christ himself, shortly after his death and resurrection, came and taught his people of ancient America the same principles he taught his people in and around Jerusalem. The Bible tells us that Christ said to the Jews, And other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. The Book of Mormon record states that after his resurrection, the Savior descended from heaven and came to his people in America. He said, And verily I say unto you, that ye are they of whom I said, Other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. He then taught the people his gospel. This account, and many others, were engraved on gold sheets or plates by ancient American prophets, one of whom was called Mormon. Moroni, the son of Mormon, buried the plates in what is now Upper New York State. Then, 1400 years later, in 1827, the same Moroni, now resurrected, appeared to young Joseph Smith and showed him where the gold plates were buried. Under the guidance of the Lord, the prophet Joseph Smith translated the plates into English and published them as the Book of Mormon. Why is it important for you to read the Book of Mormon? You'll find the purpose of the book written by Moroni on the title page. To the convincing of Jew and Gentile that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the Eternal God, manifesting himself unto all nations. The Bible promises you that in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. The Bible stands as the first witness of Christ and his teachings. The Book of Mormon is the second witness. The Book of Mormon teaches why you are here on the earth and where you are going after death. It gives practical guidelines on how to be happy, how to have closer families, and how to become all that you can be. For example, pray in your families unto the Father that your wives and your children may be blessed. The Book of Mormon is important to you because it is the Word of God. It is Scripture, just as the Bible is Scripture. And a knowledge of the Lord is incomplete without reading both books. But the Lord doesn't ask you to believe only on the word of others. Moroni promises that you can know that Christ did come to America and that the Book of Mormon is a true account. On page 520 of the English version of the Book of Mormon, you will find this promise. And when ye shall receive these things, I would exhort you that ye would ask God the Eternal Father in the name of Christ if these things are not true, and if ye shall ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, having faith in Christ, he will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Pick up a Book of Mormon at the information desk and start reading. Pray and ponder about what you have read. The exciting stories in the book could change your life.